And I just want to build production towards districts and wonders of place next to a river as much as possibly can. Mm -hmm. Well. China's in the game, though. This is actually tricky. All right, let's talk about the start for a little bit. So, if I all in Petra rush, I still get beat by China. So we have to assume that China isn't rushing desert. And there seems to be a lot of desert in these games and a lot of desert expands around. So if we move to maximize Petra, where do we do it at? We get the 15% production bonus if we plant it on this tile, which is the only tile I can do, flat flood plain. I can do this one too or that one, but those ones don't count. Uh, those ones don't give me the river bonus. So I would like as many hills as possible if that happens. So I probably want to move towards this. Which means I'm settling on fur, which is a little bit of a waste. It's not a huge waste. I will lose that production. I can keep the food. It becomes three food, one gold. I can move to this one. I could save the stone to chop for it. That would be reasonable. It's probably right there. But it might be right there. I think it's here. But if I want to chop stone, I got to get them in my border, and it's much less likely to have that happen. All right, that's interesting. We just picked up two die luxuries. So we lose this tile by settling here. Lost two hills settling there. We gained a hill. No, we didn't. We still have that hill. So we gained no hills and lost two by taking this move. Yeah, but the, it's, just, it's a trade off of getting it versus not getting it, I think. This is probably on fucking abundant resources, isn't it? I think I changed that off, but I don't actually know that. trade so I want to see this by the way I believe there's a new bug when you settle on a luxury you don't get it if you settle before you get the uh... no luxuries and bonuses I'm getting fucking furs this guy is still fucking talking by the way thousand from K Hertz says here have some opinions that's a, that's a nice opinion. I, I am of a similar mindset, K-Hertz. Sounds like he got really shafted on start location. Just like me yesterday. I suppose I was talking about it too. But I was mostly talking about it to you guys. What is this noise? Are these foxes or fucking bats? Vampire fucking foxes. Yeah, make that cute bat noise. We're gonna fucking take you for your fur. Like, hmm, I wonder what a fur noise sounds like. A bat crossed with a monkey. That seems like a good start. A gleaming endowment. What? Oh, my man. Holy shit, Aqua. This is 50k subs, Pogchamp. 
would have given you the full 50, but then you start spreading lies and slander, so I'm gonna give you a 50 cent penalty. Very generous, Aqua. $50 donation. Thank you very much, mate. It's a huge donation. And it's not lies and slander if it's true. It just makes it slander. Actually, I don't even know. Probably makes it not slander at all. But thanks for the donation, man. It's a huge donation. Much appreciated. Give another scout out. And yes, that is good news. I did hit 50k uh, followers on YouTube, which is pretty cool. And fox bats. I'd like to hit some of these Eurekas. Mysticism. Yeah, YouTube subs are the same as Twitch follows. And we did hit 50k. It's a big number. Been a lot of change for us. We're pretty pleased about it. Praise the sub. And Turty just sub. Welcome to the channel. Please the sub. Um. <laughs> Gog pointing out that I seem more optimistic than normal. Oh, come on. China's my neighbor again. Probably on fucking desert. I swear to God, if he builds, if he builds Petra, I'm sending the chariots his way. City state there is a production city state that will help with building wonders. 50k Twitch subs would be $125,000 a month. Are you sure you know how to do math? <laughs> because that's not how math works. Be glorious if that were the case. Uh, yep, Bird, you're a financial expert, right? You uh, work in the finance industry. Can you confirm that uh, 50k uh, Twitch subs is also uh, $125,000 a month? Two fifty per sub. That's correct. Correct. But it works out to be a bit more than that with uh, well, Toronto. Uh, not in direct money for sure. For, no, you're you're right. You're right in direct money. But the way that you make money from Twitch is not just that. It's also things like donations. It's also things like uh, uh, like view count with ads, things like that. That will make a big difference. So, yeah. Alright. What are we doing here? We are building a builder. Build me? This is a builder. Alright, where's the fucking production card? Goody Hunt, yes. All right. Ew. Four or six, we need some improvements. How have I not met a player? Oh, I have met a player. I was gonna say, that would give me, make me really irritating. I agree, Sir Relic. It absolutely does need to be fixed. It's okay, just need to be a better player. When you're a better player, you can do damage to units that have 30 more combat strength than you. Oh yeah, that's true. And better streamers get more than 250 per sub. That's if you've negotiated ahead of time with Twitch, which I don't even know how to do. I don't even know where to open, like, where do I even begin the negotiations? Uh, but yes. It's been aggressively scouted by China. Where the fuck is he that he made it so close to me? My, twip, my Twitch representative. What Twitch representative? I don't have a Twitch representative.
Candy, I've missed you. I dream about you at night. Where have you been all my life? This guy and his warrior, man. Get the fuck away. Camp directly south of me. I'm gonna start killing units like this. If they keep hanging around my fucking borders, I'm gonna kill them. This is aggressive scouting being obnoxious. No, oh, maybe he's just fighting barbs for me, in which case, never mind, you're welcome to stay there for as long as you need to. There's his borders. Desert capital China. Rip dreams. Is there any game I get where I get a Petra start or a Petra expand where there's not Desert China in my game? Oh wow, already Barbarian Horseman too. It's a quick settler. Construction Pantheon help. Well, kind of. Does he have flat land? A good question. No, not at the moment he doesn't, but he can build them just as quickly and uh, expands as he can in his cap. He is expanding a different direction. I mean, getting a couple of chariot archers to deal with this shit wouldn't be bad anyways, but... It's another horse barbarian. I'm getting unlucky about that recently. Why is it telling me I'm minus one amenity? I really don't think it was giving me that amenity. It says I have two, but I shouldn't be minus one amenity. I'm five pop, I don't think. Yes, I am wrong nice expands around here From what we've seen, he can't yet. We don't know what the rest of this looks like yet. Might be flat desert over there. Candy, we'll do all of the quests for you. Camp there. Another player there. Holy fuck. Alright. Well, that's really unfortunate. Not minus one amenities now. Now that makes no sense because look at what just happened, right? Our reports told us we were getting fur two turns ago. Last turn I improved that fur and we are minus one amenity. This turn, after this fur, 
In other words, the fur we're being settled on is in the reports telling us we're getting furs, but we weren't actually getting the amenity from it. All right. Aqua. I like that one too, because that is a, uh, yeah. That is, that is a bug. Oh, I really like that one up too. As a short. So we basically, for settling on furs, we lost a copy of it. it. Turns out we have like four copies, so it's not such a big deal, but it's still bullshit. Did the barb just kill itself attacking into me? I'm pretty sure it did. Need a settler. Can't just spawn again next to me. It's the third one now. Need one more wear. Start looks a little bit nicer than mine. Just a little bit.
Look how neither of my scouts have managed to get a rune. I don't, Aqua. I just want that turn. Like, it's like 30 seconds, Aqua, where, uh, where, we, where we figure it out and explain it. Where we see it as getting it in view reports, and then we settle it, and we notice we have the minus one amenity, and then we put one online, and the next turn we don't have minus one amenity. Civ 6 is your first Civ. Should you play it with mods or without? Uh, without probably depends if you're gonna do multiplayer. If you're gonna do multiplayer, you should just start with mods. If you're planning on just doing single player, you should probably do whatever you want. It always is so troll that the boost for masonry is what allows you to chop stone, but to get a boost to chop stone, you have to build a quarry. It's always the trolliest thing. I'm coming for you, Candy. Three more pop. I mean, I think that was true of Civ 5, Keaton. I haven't actually found that to be true of Civ 6. The Barbarians camp seemed to not spawn where you cleared them out before. So... I don't know, there's too many bonuses for killing barbs in the early game. It gives you bonuses towards uh, things like bronze working, gives you bonuses towards uh, things like military tradition, gives you experience, especially with the increase in barb experience cap on uh, on the no quitters mod. Like there's a huge advantage to killing some stuff. So, I don't know, I hear you. Oh, come on, barbarian. Move. Let's go. People forward set on me too hard, I'm killing them. 
We're not rushing early monument, early empire. We're teching early empire. We're rushing other things. Looking flat desert to you or flat grassland to you? Looks flat grassland to me. I have a floodplains. It's right there. Four turns. Thanks, Aqua. Sound good, my goal just went up to plus seven. here. Tundra wonder though. Less wonderful. One free tech. He's got astrology. Okay. Might have been baited in by that. to my next one. Five turns. Can I get a settler out in two? Yeah, I could. Alright. Oh, you don't have a heal. Yeah, the heal. Oh, I thought that said minor victory for me, not minor victory for him. I just suicide that way. Not my intention. Damn. The plays. Plays for days. start is amazing. 
He's got to be pretty fucking happy about that start. These are all hills. 